guys, what's up? It's Ellie Durbridge here. Welcome to my first YouTube video. I don't know, I'm so, like, I'm just so weird with this. I don't normally speak to my camera, I can normally just film, sit my ass, film, you know. Dog dude. This is a bit out of my comfort zone, but you know, that's okay. The only one I'm doing is me. Um, but yeah, I've had so many requests on starting YouTube. So you girls finally doing it. I thought I'd bring to you for my first YouTube video, um, my just go-to glam. Like, if I have an event, just feeling a bit bougie, or I don't know what, what I'm going to wear, I'll do this look because I know it'll go with literally everything. Um, so it's just really, really bronzy. I've only used the one palette on the eyes, which is a Marzen, because you can do this affordability. Um, but yeah, I'll leave all the products and everything in the description. If you have any questions, you know, uh, hit your girl up. And if you want to see how I do this, keep on watching. So first off, I go with my um, trusty vitamin E cream. All over the face just to get a nice hydrated boost. I'll use this base on all my clients as well. Um, just because it goes in my, like, pretty much all sin tights. Tights. Skin tight. That hand over there by my side. Skin types. And it's really hydrating. So, you know, it's a bit nose. Now, because I'm doing a real blown out, sort of really smoky, bronzy, I guess, kind of look, I always go with foundation first because it doesn't sort of really matter because you're sort of going over that base anyway. Whereas if I was doing a really sort of detailed, fine cut line, I would always do the eyes first. Um, just creates less room for error and I'd have to do the whole face again. Oh good. Um, so for foundation I'm using my um, Fenty Beauty Pro Longwear, I think they're called. Pro Filter, sorry. Um, and I use the shade 290 when I'm tan just because it's a really nice olive undertone. Doesn't leave it too yellow, too orange, you know what I mean? Also take a moment as to how pretty my facials are when I do my foundation. I have quite combination skin, so I can. I'm quite lucky. I can use matte. I can use um, dewy. I can use kind of all foundations. If you have really, really dry skin, I probably wouldn't recommend this foundation just because it does cling to dry patches. I'm just trying to think. I think I'm back. The new NARS is called Radiant. Um, fuck, I have no idea. Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. That's really, really good for sort of all skin types. Um, if you are a bit more oily, like myself in the T zone throughout the day, just set it down with powder. Like it's gonna last you. The concealer I use and stick by to this day because I don't see any point spending $50, $40 on a concealer when one that costs $11 can do the exact same thing. So I do use this on my clients, I use it on myself, and I swear by it. So it is the Maybelline Master Conceal by Face Studio Camouflaging Concealer. Oh, fuck, say a bit much. I already know my mum's gonna watch this back and be like, Ellie, you swear too much. Oh, sorry, sis, that's me, so. Um, oh, sorry, I didn't even tell you what brush. I'm so shit at this. Um, this is the model's preferred MPA 104 airbrush concealer brush. Um, if you're from Australia, you can get it in um, Priceline, which is where I got this bad boy for. It's very similar to the Kat Von D concealer brush. If anyone has that, always get been looking on that. Um, cheaper version, thank you. Now to set the concealer, and I don't really need to set the foundation just because it is such a matte base, it's kind of like set itself. Well I do it if it's already done, you know. Um, I use the RCMA No Colour Powder, if I knew what it was called that would be great. The only thing with this, it's f***ing messy. All oh, everywhere. See what I mean? Like you have to, it just f***ing goes everywhere. So look, pressing that in where I put the concealer, just put it to prevent it from moving throughout the day. Um, 
for bronzer, I really like the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Dark Chocolate. Um, I do like the normal one as well. I just find that the dark one gives a bit more of like a orangey, bronzy glow. Even when I'm shining, especially when I'm tanned. I don't really use this with my pale skin. Just because it's too orange based, I just look like an absolute fool. But depending on everyone's face shape, but on myself, I like to start from where my temple is. And I sort of aim it down towards where the corner of my lips are. I always bronze my forehead as well. You want the you want the bronzer helmet, you know. Especially if you've got your hair pulled back like in summer. That bronze forehead and this is cha this all changes depending on <laughs> this all changes depending on your face shape so I have really oh hello I have really really far like a really push back hairline again thanks mom and dad um, it sort of does like a big M shape so I always get in there as well just to help sort of blur it out and make it more sort of like everything's focused on the center of your face I've got quite a small forehead as well, so I don't focus much at the top here because I don't want to shorten there. I sort of want to just bring the sides in. Don't forget this double chin too. If you want to really sort of hide it, I like always start here. With the base of your chin just because it creates like a really nice shadow. And then I sort of work up and create like a new jawline here. Don't forget, always blend down, always. Blush I normally always use, just because it helps, even if it's like throughout the day, it helps bring that natural glow through. I don't know what this is called. It is from MAC, but the name's rubbed off. Sold for my sister. <laughs> Thanks, girl. It's this really like peachy, pinky, pale pink nude, but you'll see it's just like a really nice muted pink it just barely shows anything but it just helps create that little bit of warmth you know now if I'm using highlighter and a bronzer shimmery bronzer I always do the highlight first and then I go with the bronzer over the top just to help blend it so you don't get a real stark sort of line yes it looks beautiful in photos but we don't want to walk around like that we'll add it anyway of course anyone that's had their makeup done by me you know. You know. So I use this Real Techniques setting brush to do my highlighter. Fucking yellow. It's just that perfect size to get in there and get really nice and detailed. As opposed to having the whole cheek. Like, you know, shun. Can you see that? I really hope that's coming off in camera. Surely you can see that. Okay, fuck. Maybe not too much, that's alright. We're going to make it work. Guys, on the top of my eyebrow as well, because then again, when the light hits you, it's all like this. So see how there's just that little bit of a line there? When you use a bronzer, it helps take away that. I also like to do the top of my cupid's bow. I don't like going all the way up, because it just makes you just look like you've got a shiny moustache. You know, we don't want that. Tip of my nose, very, very tip. And then the bridge of my nose as well. A lot of people use their finger. I find that's too much of a stark line. For me anyway. We in. A little bit here as well, in between the eyes, just because when the sun's hitting you, that's like a really nice focus point, makes your eyes pop, pussy pop. Um, I love the... <sighs> I like to use the Too Faced Sunny Bonne. If I'm going to be really like, wow, it's a wow. I use them both, but for this one, I just want to use the darker shade. I just focus it really, with a really light hand across the joint of the highlighter. And I don't know if you can tell on camera, there's just a nice gradient, whereas this side, it's a bit sort of like stark line. Just around the forehead as well. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off cam, you know, cause it's a bit boring to be real. If you want me to do a detailed brow tutorial, let me know, cause I'll do it for you. Be right back. So, girl's back with her eyebrows matched. Diddly etched. Da -da -da -da. That's matched. I'm using Too Faced Chocolate. That's probably blinding all of you right now. Let's do this way. Too Faced Chocolate Gold. Um, I do like a range of shades in this palette. 
Like, I love a good shimmer, you know, good statement eye. However, I did notice I used the pink the other day and it was really, like, chalky. First, I'm using the shade that's named after me. <laughs> it's so bougie. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one eye, because I have no fucking eye. No, actually, this eye, I do know what I'm doing. I'm going to bronze it, I'm going to do one eye, show you what it looks like, and then I'm going to show you how to do it. So it's just super bronzy. It's quite like a really like champagne-y bronze. I like that sort of tone because it makes I find it makes my eyes pop a bit more. Which you know all is a good thing. Um these lashes from eBay. Love that. I normally go with a liner just over the top very thinly just to hide the lash band that's all so I'll do the other eye and then I'll do the liner in the other one because I forgot once again going in with so bougie. I, I like to start sort of at the top of the arch when I'm doing really blown out looks. Um, just because it helps sort of create the focus of where you want to see that whole transition shade. Um, so I like to start at the top. When I do my own um, eyeshadow and clients, I always ask them, like halfway through, I ask them to look at me so I can see that I'm blending the line according to their eye shape as, as appropriately. And just really swiping it nice and wide. I like to come up into the arch of my, um, I guess, brow brow bone meets nose bone just because it helps create that real sultry like big like sort of <clears throat> in-depth um eye look so that same so bougie shade all the way underneath as well again dragging it out to help blow it out girl so next i'm going in with coco truffle i think it's called yeah coco truffle on a smaller brush so it's still a fluffy branding one it's just a bit smaller so it can fit like nicely in that socket there so again, I like to push in, get most of the product. It kind of makes your idea a little funny, like, ha! Oh. Get most of that product in there. So as you can see, that's where I start to blend out the smoke. So it's always good to give yourself a guide. Again, focusing the shadow on the outside, bringing it into that crease. And don't stress too much about the blending now, because I always go back over with the previous brush and buff it out. Underneath again closer to the lash line this time just to help us get a nice gradient again I don't focus too much on the blending at this stage I go back in with the previous brush if I need to a little bit more of the other shadow but I just like to do little small circular motions to buff it all out and again underneath just to make sure there's no harsh lines what one did I go on with shit okay I went in actually yeah I went in with love and cocoa first and I focused it sort of right in the middle of my eyelid and then I went in with classy and sassy taking on the sort of innermost so it's just a bit more of a champagne-y bronzy tone going in with decadent which is just this black shade right in the corner again pushing it in make your eye go all funny because that's where the deepest part of my eye socket is really just focusing it there guys don't go too far with the black less is more with the black as well when i first started doing eyeshadow oh my god you should have seen i used to come with panda eyes because they just go all over the top of each other like ah oh. then i just drag the remainder underneath my eye as well especially with this sort of bronzy smoky it just in photos just makes your eyes pop out really really, really well all right that's down. Um, mascara I have been loving at the moment is this one here. So it's Mega Volume oh, L'Oreal Mega Volume Miss Baby Roll. This shit right here. Amazing. Um, I used to be obsessed, obsessed with Roller Lash by Benefit. Still love it. No shade. I love um, Benefit's products. But this guy, again. Drugstore pulling through. If I can get the same or similar product that works just as well for a fourth of the price, best believe I'm going to be getting it instead. I've been trying to hunt down on eBay ones like this to use in my client disposal ones because it just gets right in there. As you can see, if it weren't for the thickness, it kind of looks like I already have lashes on already. Museum you in closer. As you can see, it's just like a really good mascara. 
but yeah the lashes that i use on myself especially for videos and like going out and stuff um i just get them off ebay if you want um actually not if you want i will i'll link them in the description if i can find them if their seller hasn't sold out because i bought them all um but they're just so good because they end up being like three dollars australian dollars three dollars versus ten love that this is them and they come in this like bougie sparkly case which i love I love, I love, I love. So I'm just going to apply this off camera. If you want a detailed um, how I apply false lashes, there is one on my Instagram, um, which is at makeup by Ellie Deerbridge. I will put it here for you. I've got a detailed video there, but that only goes for a minute. So if you want more of an in-depth one, let your girl know when she can buy the chill and organize it. Okay, be right back. She's back. Oh, I also went ahead and put the liner. Don't know if you can tell. My eyes always flutter so bad when I'm trying to do clothes, which <laughs> I can't control it. Hold on. Let's get these lit. Sorted. Oh. So, my trusty every day when I go out or go to is this Australis liner. It is in the shade Misbehave. My middle night. So, I naturally like to overdraw my lips the slightest i don't like it so that you can actually see when you're up close and speaking to someone and they're like oh, you've overdrawn your lips too much bob at the end of the day it's makeup do what the fuck you want with it you can tell how much i love it that's my second one um this is honey love by mac it's just the most perfect like for me the most perfect rosy brownie nude. I think we're done sis. Just get a bit of a uh, set and spray. So yeah, here's my completed every, not every day. I do not do this every day. Um, what is it? Here's my completed go-to glam. If I have an event, um, going out, last minute, shit, okay, what am I wearing? You know, give it a big thumbs up if you like this video. <laughs> Um, if you want to see more of this sort of stuff, let me know. I think I'm going to do a few more like sneaker hauls and stuff like that. Because your girl sends a lot of money on sneakers. Hope you enjoyed it guys and I'll see you back for my next video. Peace.